shorter than. No, it's good. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm joined here with two members of our cast. Will you please introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Ethan Kelhunter. I play Ezekiel Cheever. I'm MC Hedrick. I play Thomas Putnam. <laughs> I'm Liz Calandra. Okay. And I'm Cat Warner. Now that's just not true. Nick Sumter, who okay. plays Reverend Paris. Perfect. Ty okay. Bryant, who plays Tichaba. I'm McGuire and Swiss, I play Francis Nurse. I'm Nathan Salmon, I play Reverend Hill. I'm Jordan, and I play Mary Warren. I'm Dakota, and I play Marshall Herrick. There we go. All right. So, what was your favorite part about preparing to put the show on stage? It was really fun in the rehearsal room to really just get a play around and experiment in this world that we've gotten to create together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jumping off that character for sure. Does it need to be theater related? Or... Not necessarily, no. Okay. Um, you can take this one. I'm gonna start crying. <sighs> I think all the movement work we did, and like, when we were to explore the space, and like, Learn to walk as our character and feel the, everyone's energy and just, yeah, all the movement work we did, I think. Yeah, I would have to agree to that. And I just love all the spectacle, the lights. Um, once everything came together, I feel like that really kicked everyone to gear, so. You know, I, I think there was a really beautiful moment when we transitioned from calling line every single other line and struggling to get into place and get all the cogs and gears of a big show into us telling the story and being able to find richer parts of our characters, crack whips, you know, all the <laughs> all the good things. And that was really beautiful to see. What was the question? You fire! Oh! I liked meeting everybody. Uh, I got a lot of new friends because I'm a freshman. And I have a lot of new friends now, and I'm really excited for what's to come in regards to the department. Yeah, you got to workshop your ass getting beat by Isaac a ton of different ways. That was really yeah. great. Awesome. That was awesome. My favorite part about preparing on stage is I really try to dive myself into the world of the writing of Arthur Miller, and I feel that's what really best prepares me to to get to get into the scene. Like going off of that, just like getting into the world, just like perusing around the set as well, just and everything else in between, like applying what we did in the, the movement lab slash dance room, and then putting it to where we had the physical set in front of us. Like it was a daunting challenge, but at the end of the day, like it was worth like stepping up to it. Like, like get what I mean? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> What is your favorite quote of the show? It doesn't have to be yours. My favorite line for me is, it is alive in act three, because it's, you know, all yeah. I say in act three. So my favorite line of mine is, I think it'd be the cows, sir. There'd be so many cows. But my probably my favorite line of the entire show is just the best line that Arthur Miller probably has ever written. A fart on you, Thomas Puck. <laughs> That's a good one. A fart! On Thomas Putnam's head. <laughs> um. Fart on Thomas Putnam. Chicken blood. She gave me chicken blood. My favorite line is a bit of an improv um, that goes, Marshall, fetch your whip. <laughs> My favorite line is also improv by the one and only Ian. I cannot stop this. <laughs> it is a horn. <laughs> Banger. I think it'd be the cows, sir. Who is the most likely to improv on stage? I mean, I know the answer is uh, Ian. Fetch your whip, Marshall. Is a pretty solid one. Giles. Giles. Mm. Definitely Giles. Mm. Giles, interesting take. Interesting. I loved when uh, Ian t um, snipped the bit I was doing by uh, when I and was like, "Come over here." Like as I was in the middle of doing something and I was like, well, and <laughs> fully broke on stage and just walked over to the spot I was supposed to go. During, it was like two days ago, I would say on stage, I was doing my scene with Ian and I looked down and his pants was just ripped in the crotch. And I was like, oh, that, that's interesting. <laughs> Let me just not look at your crotch. <laughs> Our Saturday night show, which would have been last night mm. as of recording this, mm. in Act Four, John Proctor is taken via pain, mm. <laughs> and as John Proctor is exiting the door with the record nurse, I hear from my right, from Riven Hill, goodbye, John. What? On opening night. 
of this show when we went on act three and we did not have Reverend Hale with us on the entrance because his pants were getting fixed. And uh, Giles Corey and Marshall Herrick had a little moment of improv mm -hmm. that uh, really served the story. I think if Arthur Miller were alive today, he would oh maybe God. do a rewrite of the play <laughs> to fit in um, Marshall saying, you have to settle down. <laughs> now, who is most likely, likely to fall off the stage? Paris. Mm. I don't know why, it's just Paris. I agree with that. I think it's likely to have a little too much fun with their part on stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Dakota too. Yeah, he's a Dakota and I have a good time in Act Four. Who is most likely to forget their lines? Kel. Nick. What's your favorite cast member? I uh, don't know, the parodies of There Is Blood On My Head, that, that was pretty fun. I'm not gonna go into detail, but the mm. parody of There Is Blood On My Head. Mm. Can you not see the blood on my head? No. <laughs> Who is your favorite person to work with in a scene? <laughs> I'd have to say you, Isaac. I spent a good chunk of act two and three with you. So. Yeah. <laughs> Giles, Corey was my favorite scene partner with. Mm -hmm. During act three, we're always just looking at each other. 